Hey, how's it going? Just a quick little thing I thought I'd show you. Um, as you can see, you are looking at the Bucky O'Hare arcade game by Konami. And uh, as you know, this is one that I've been looking to track down for a while now and haven't really had much luck in doing so. I'd love to own the actual arcade board for this one, but haven't been able to find it. So, uh, usually for games such as these, what I'll resort to doing is playing them on a laptop on MAME, hooked up to uh, any number of... LCDs that I have, but uh, today I was just messing around with um, some games on name on my um, Sony Vio laptop, and uh, I happened to notice that the laptop itself has an S video output. So I was just thinking, well, that'd be cool to actually try to hook it up to a CRT and see how it displays. As you can see over here, here's the laptop. Here's the S video out. I've got a audio actually running to the TV as well and yeah it looks really nice I mean it gives it that authentic arcade look um, as though you were playing it on a, a super gun hooked up to a, a nice CRT like this one or on a cabinet and so I'm pretty pleased with it really um, this is definitely a board that I want to track down but until then this is a great way to play it with a you know it is MAME so it does glitch up a little bit at points but I mean it looks really great I mean it looks almost as good as as it would if you were playing the actual arcade board on one of these CRTs or a, you know a nice arcade monitor so something I thought that was kinda cool pretty pleased with it love the demo for this game it's one of the best ones that Konami did one of the best arcade games period that Konami made and there's a long list of great ones but this one ranks uh, right up there near the top. Just looks really sharp and vivid running on the CRT. You know, much more of an authentic arcade feel than playing it on something like an LCD monitor, which is which is good too, but this is this looks a lot better to be honest with you. So uh, this is how I'll have to play this game until I can actually track down the board. But it's a pretty awesome way to play it, actually. I'm pretty happy that that uh, laptop had an S-Video out, and I never knew about that for years. Uh, I guess I'll just quickly show you another game that I have to play in MAME. Um, I don't have a board for this one either. It's uh, Charlie Ninja by Mitchell. <laughs> this is just a really great game as well. Let you see a little bit of the demo, just in case you maybe haven't seen uh, Bucky O'Hare or Charlie Ninja before. Explanation of your controls. This game is so much fun though. And another really difficult PCB to find, so uh, you're probably going to have to resort to playing it in MAME too, because I've never seen this one for sale, much like Bucky O'Hare. But definitely uh, test it out uh, in your MAME setup, because it is really awesome.
uh, finally, I guess I'll just show you another one really quickly. Uh, you may remember I did a, uh, a review for uh, the uh, Daiko no Gensan uh, game on the Super Famicom. But this is the uh, arcade game that's it's a little bit different. It's still an awesome game. And this is the uh, U.S. version of the game, so it's it's called Hammer and Harry. But yeah, pretty cool that this um, laptop does have an S video out, so you can do something like this. And as you know, I've got the sequel to this one on the CPS2. But uh, this one is a CPS1 game. Another board I've been meaning to find. Mega Man the Power Battle, and you know, I've got uh, Rock Man 2, the uh, Power Fighters. You know, Mega Man is just Rock Man in Japan, of course. <laughs> yeah, just a quick video showing you this uh, Sony Vio laptop with the uh, S video output running on this 27 inch Sony CRT and running MAME and this is just a cool way uh, for me to kind of play the PCBs or emulated versions of the PCBs that I haven't been able to find yet on a, on a CRT so it looks um, you know more authentic than an LCD so it's a it's a pretty close substitute you know of course I'm still gonna be looking for these boards but until then uh, this is a cool way to play them and I guess, uh, you know, if you've got a laptop or a computer that does have an S-Video out like that, you could try this as well, and it's probably going to give you pretty good results. I'm pretty pleased with them. Yeah, that's about it. Just wanted to show you that really quickly. I know it's probably not too terribly exciting, but uh, I was pretty happy to uh, discover that little S-Video out on the laptop, which I didn't know about at all. But anyway, I appreciate you watching the video. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.